I organized by just writing the numbers under each of them. For a calcium hydroxide, I get that solid. And on your conversion equation sheet, there's both solid and aqueous. And of course, it makes a difference. So make sure you get the solid one. It's listed as minus 986.1. Calcium 2 plus aqueous, because the gas phase is also on there, minus 542.8. And hydroxide. Aqueous, yes. Minus 230. That's 229. Oh, minus 229. Okay. You have minus 229. So this is... So, yeah. All right. So delta H reaction. And whether you use the little zero symbols or not, uh, it's fine with me either way is products times coefficients minus reactants so one times the minus 542.8 plus two times the minus 230 and then subtract off the reactants 16.75. 16 or minus 16? Negative 16.75. Thank you. Wait a minute, how do we get a uh, hundredths place? None of the numbers has a hundredths place. Well, I think I got 16, minus 16.7 16 on my sheet. Now, um, this is exothermic. Actually, what do I get? 542.8 minus plus 2 times 230 minus plus 986.1. Yeah, I just get playing 16.7. Out, out minus 16.8. I have a minus 16.7. All of these are fine. <laughs> uh, because of the approximate that we did, 2.99 something. I, I think so. Uh, yeah, so if depending upon where you find your values, you'll find slightly different ones. Mm -hmm. And that's fine. Now, uh, so this is an exothermic reaction. That means uh, that, well, so heat is a product. And if you look at this energy, this is, this is another thing, another way of doing it for me. So the reactants have the potential energy of the products plus more. So that's another way we know that the reactants are higher for this one. And the products are lower. And I know this is a negative number here, but remember the negative sign just means that energy is produced or released. So heat is a product, heat is released. Oh, sorry, I didn't get my whole picture on there. If this problem is on your exam, it would say, it would say all this stuff because it would tell you what the axes are
you would have to show reactants and products and delta H reaction. So that's A. I'm going to let you do B on your by yourselves. Any, uh, and if you have any questions about B, I'm happy to answer them. Okay. Professor, please, can you show um, number three? <clears throat> yes. Um, let me see if I can find it. I mean, it's right here, it's just two. <laughs> it's under the other ones. Um, and so uh, now what I'd like to do is uh, I would like to take another uh, break uh, probably five minutes, but uh, maybe a little bit longer.